in uh, today's revved up news on the move, Alpha are going to build a new version of the Alpha Spider Tap to commemorate their 11 wins in the Milia Migalia road race uh, in Italy between the years 1927 and 1957. Very attractive looking spider model featuring a standard V6 power plant that turns out about 191 kilowatts. Now, on the subject of Alphas, the other day I was driving into Cape Town and there was uh, an Alpha GT. It was busy overtaking me in the fast lane on my way into town and uh, there was this buzzing noise coming from his car while he was overtaking me. This was like followed by a misfire and then the car was jerking and then that followed by the severe mechanical grinding noise. As a result, the car, the guy in the car pulled off to the side of the road. But what got me the most about that whole thing was that um, you can see he was a seasoned alpha driver because he wasn't surprised at all. Back to the news. How are you going to be launching a uh, TDI version of their A3, of their current A3 model? Very nice looking car. It's going to have 165 kilowatt turbo diesel engine in it. And uh, this is also going to churn out about 450 newton meters of torque. Now 450 newton meters of torque is a hell of a lot of torque. If you look at the 8 litre V10 that uh, Dodge Vipers, that, that are in the Dodge Vipers, those churn out about uh, 450 newton meters of torque. So to do this from a much smaller diesel engine is quite astronomical. Uh, the car's going to have 20 inch alloy rims and also have these like big ghastly flaring nozzles at the front. It does look like a full on racing car but not something I think you'd use every day. Uh, Land Rover launching the LRX, which is, if you could imagine a Range Rover, um, the babies it would have if it had to mate with a Honda, the new Honda Civic. It's kind of got this like very space age, brown and smooth sleep, but kind of aggressive look. And it has an iPhone uh, pod, which sits in the middle of the console. And that iPhone pod is also your security. When you plug your phone in, it allows it sets your settings on in the chairs and so on based on, on the information it saves on the iPhone. And then once it's kind of logged into your car, there's a big start button which you press to start this Range Rover or this Land Rover at least. Very very cool. Um, Chev have launched a uh, new SUV. It's called the Captiva. Uh, well, new version of the Captiva. Now, the Captiva is, um, being an American car, it's loaded with all the bells and whistles, airbags, the lot. But what's nice about this Captiva is that um, it's cheaper than the X-Trail and the Hyundai Sonata. And this concludes today's episode of Revved Up News on the Move. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Enjoy your day.